It's gonna be cold though, right? This is freezing cold water. Yeah. So why does it boil? Because it's drawing the oxygen uh, out of the sense. hydrogen. The, when you have a cup of water, the the air pressure is pushing down on the top surface of the water, holding all the gas into the water. Yeah. As soon as you remove the air pressure, in other words, create a vacuum, the all the little gas bubbles rush to get out. And as they rush to get out, that's what boiling is. And all the little molecules have kinetic energy, and they get to the surface of the water, and then they fly out of the container. And then, so the container loses kinetic energy, which means temperature drops down. So it's boiling and cooling at the same time. It's the coolest thing. Now you're starting to have little air bubbles. So, so if you have, what, if you leave if water you, in a vacuum long enough, then like, like if you leave it in like an X amount of time, does That's something perfect. happen to it? Or like what's all the Because obviously, oh, can you really get, once you get all the oxygen out of water, then it's just hydrogen. No, it's still H2O. The gas is suspended in the water. You're oh, not, you're not, you're not, you're not you're taking not. the gas away from the okay. H2O molecule. That would, yeah, that it's still H2O. Sense. But there's gas, see those little gas bubbles that are in, in there right now? Yeah. Those, those are, that's the gas that's suspended in the water. And since we're lifting the pressure off the top of the surface of the water, the gas is beginning to, to escape and to get out there. That makes sense. Because that yeah, that's a chemical change. That doesn't happen in just a vacuum. Or, can a chemical change occur with uh, with a vacuum being a catalyst? Uh, a chemical. Oh, there it goes. Now it's getting really cold. But it's boiling. Can, can a vacuum be a catalyst for chemical change? No, only okay. a physical change. Okay. So will it freeze solid? No. No. So this is. Boil, boiling is actually an attempt to cool itself. When you when you have a pan of boiling water, the water is not heating up. The water is attempting to cool itself. The thing that's heating up is the fire that's making the pan hot. And that's Why does it want to cool, cool itself? Because it wants to release its energy. Because there's there's, there's less energy around it, so it wants to surrender its energy to the environment. It wants to naturally get to a state of equilibrium. That, that's attempting and, now. And gas is a state of equilibrium gas in a certain state of environment. I should think Can we do that? Um, yeah, like that's the coolest part of second rate. semester. Out in the water, I really, I, if you put it on right. something like this. Like second semester, that's the cool part. Huh? I didn't fail physics. I got like a C plus or a B minus. -ish. So I, I didn't get as much out of it as I wanted to. 106. So. I was in L for two last year, so I didn't have the math required. And the physics test. Physics. I got a 34 out of 32. Got what if you fill uh, a beaker? I got the extra credit. Yeah, that work? Yeah, I could probably make a mess of it. So. Yeah. So now if you shut this off, isn't I it going to so. make the glass frosty though? If you keep going right, with it? I'm getting out of here.